for quite a long time. I wanted to uh, travel in, uh, in Kurdistan uh, from the, a village to another village to play with kids and like uh, do some juggling and theater because when I was a child I didn't have anything like this. In my childhood it was like something missing in my life and I was thinking it's not nice to that other children will miss that the same. So it's, it's, it would be good to make them to feel happy. This project organised with my friend Ronnie, met him at a festival in Cambridge. I was juggling and he came up to me with the idea of going to Turkey to do a tour. And we start to plan it. While we were planning and then the massive earthquake had happened in Van. I am, I am from there, I was born there and I left when I was 13. This is like a war zone. In the war zone the children are the one most suffering. And I know that most of Kurdish people in that area, they're having a lot of really bad war uh, experience. And plus having a massive earthquake, that was really uh, shocking. With this tour I wanted to kind of keep the, the PWB ethos of uh, helping vulnerable children and uh, spread that kind of excitement from, from what we had before in India and come here and do the same thing. These children who are living in container camps have lost everything, they've lost their, their homes, all their toys and everything like that and they haven't got much at all living in big camps with thousands of people in very cramped conditions. <laughs> We were like all together uh, nine going from UK and Germany. And I thought it would be really interesting to film all the journey from here to there and come back while uh, we are here, there to also do, to record. Kids, the kids, they have lost everything. There. So you could see that there is not much help for the kids there, psychological help. And, uh, but still they were laughing, they were walk, they were running around trying to play, but you could feel, you could see the, the, from their face, and they have like a big trauma. And so it was like, uh, we were happy being there and trying to at least giving their faces a small, small uh, smile. If there is, it will be enough money, it will be really interesting that uh, somebody can go back and record all these kids because it's been like almost seven years. They are, they are not any kids anymore, probably they are adults. And uh, I have a feeling that probably some of them are not in life anymore because it's a war zone. Probably some of them already died, unfortunately. And I cannot go myself because I am banned by Turkish state, so I cannot go back. It will be nice that somebody co can go and record uh, what is going on, if, if the life has recovered, if everything is much better or the same. I couldn't finish the film because I didn't have uh, money to, uh, to pay the, the, the people who they can uh, like edit and, and finish the film. And so the, that money will be going f to, to the people who they're going to record and edit and for all the uh, renting equipment. It's been quite a long time and still the, the people are suffering there, the children are suffering there. Uh, finishing this film, it will. this is my uh, hope that I can make awareness of, of, of the people that they can see what is happening right now over there because the people People over there, they need to, we should hear their voices and we should try our best to, to make the voice can be heard everywhere around the world. Now that you know the story of myself and the Kurdish children in Van, please, I'm asking your help to finish this film. Thank you. Hi, my name is Bin, I'm from Tenerife and I've studied film making. I am also part of this project and my job is to put all the videos together and edit the film. When Ronnie first told me about all of this, I thought this was a story worth telling. So we hope you can help us with that. 
We want to give a perfect end for this film, so we as a filmmaking group would like to go back to Van, find those kids, make new interviews with them, and see how things have changed since then. So please consider donating to this campaign and that way help us to finish this project. Thank you.